So let's put all of the knowledge that we've just gained into action. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a custom block page. Okay. So for that, what we're going to do is we will create a block page. Okay. So in, if you go to WordPress and if you go to the home page setting, you have, so you have an option to set any of the pages as home page and you also have the option to set any of the pages as post page. Okay. So I have already created a page called blog. So you can see that I have a page called blog. Okay. And if you haven't created, you can create one by going on to uh, pages, add new and then create one. So I have a page already and it doesn't have any of the content or anything right like that. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to my customizer. So just to recap, you go to appearance, then customize and then go to home page settings and then over here. So I can set any of the pages, let's say blog as my blog page. And if I publish and if I come back over here and, and do a refresh, now you can see that I don't have an option to add any of the content over here because WordPress is going to use this page as my post page. So if you check now, I've got like dash post page over here. If you try, to, if I try to edit it, all I can do is just change the title, but nothing else, right? Okay, great. So how it's going to work is it's going to automatically use your index.php to load all of the posts, right? Okay. And how do we know that? So if you take a look, blog post index page, and if you come over here, it's going to find for home.php. I haven't created one. So it's just going to use the index.php by default. Okay. A reason why I'm not using home.php because I'm going to be creating a separate one like front page.php. That's why I'm not using this one. Okay, great. So if I go back over here and this is my index.php and currently it says content, I can probably say content index for now. And if I go on to my front end, so let's go on to my home page. You can see it says content index. Of course, the other pages also have the fallback of index.php, but just letting you know that eventually this is what it's going to use. And we can run a loop on in the WordPress and get all of the posts over here, which we will do in some time. Okay, great. So what about the home page and how do we set the custom home page, right? So for custom home page, so if you come in over here, you can see that it says site front page. What do you want to use your site front page as? If you don't create a page like this with this name, then automatically, of course, it's just going to follow this path and so on and so forth. And finally, if it doesn't find anything, just use the index.php and that's what's happening right now. However, if you do create a front dash page.php, this will allow us to separate the layout of our home page as well as our block page, right? So let's do that. So let's go ahead and create a file called front dash page dot php. Okay. And let's just put that front page template at package Aquila. For now, I can just say front page. Okay. So currently I haven't set the front page. I need to set it from here. So now if you go over here, I can choose any of the page and that'll be used as a front page. Okay. Which means that once I choose one of these pages as front page, whatever content I'm going to put into that page can then be served using the WordPress D loop onto my homepage. So let's, I have already created a home page and let's let's select the home as as my home page and then hit publish and now if i go to yes so now if you see that you know it's saying front page of course i haven't called get header and footer so let's do that so get header and then get footer Okay, great. So you can see that now I have got header and footer and, and this is the content coming from here, which says front page. Awesome. And I just want to show you how the, my front page looks like. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and then go to pages, all page. 
and then now if you notice next to home we have a dash front page automatically set right and then over here for blog we have post page because we set that to if I change that I can change it to another page let's say memories and if I publish that so now if you refresh you will notice that front page will be moved to my memories okay so that's how you can set your front page and then have different layouts for your you know front page which is your main page when user land lands on your site which is your landing page and then separate one for your block page right so let's put that back to home page just, just wanted to show that to you and hit submit and then let's just go over here and let's just go to our front end and that's it so now if I go into the blog page which I click on blog you can now see it says content index or I, I should I think I should write content uh, blog maybe awesome and if you go to any other pages it will still be using so see I'm going to contact I'm going to about notice the URL is changing on top I'm going to any of the URL it is still using that index.php because that's what the hierarchy says you know for singular page if you have a singular page it's going to look for all of these types of files if it doesn't find anything it look for page.php if it doesn't find then finally it's going to use index.php okay which means that we can actually create a new file called page.php because uh, it doesn't make sense to use index.php for everything right so for pages we can use the page.php so let's do that so I'll do page.php and I'm just going to copy the code from here I will paste it here and then name it as page template okay so and I'll just name it as page like single page and then if I go back and refresh now you see that it's working well if I go to inquiry I still have single page if I go to contact I still have single page if I go to blog blog will have content blog why because we have explicitly set the blog page from the customizer and it's using the index.php because that's what we checked in the hierarchy right uh, if you create home.php then it's going to use that so I just wanted to show that to you as well so let's take a look home this is first for your understanding we're going to be not going to be using home.php but just to let you know okay that echo home or blog I can say whatever you want to call it let's go back refresh there you go you can see it says home blog right so it's using home so you now see how all of the things are working right so you can always come back over here and, and create pages based on what's required you just have to follow the general rules that it's just going to follow this path and then finally if it doesn't find anything it'll go for index.php awesome cool great so I think uh, there's one more thing we need to create will be the single post so if the user goes to onto a single post so for example if I come in over here and if I come to posts currently it's going to use the index.php because as per the template hierarchy okay first thing we'll do is will fix this because I think it should just use slug so what you can do is you can come in over here to settings go to permalinks and then you can change this as well so I want this this one I want my URL structure to look like this the slug I don't want the date over here so you can choose what type of URL structure you want so I think if you're sharing the URL with any of your friends or colleagues you would want them a clean URL like this and not have numbers which looks jargon actually okay and um, all right like if your post name is hello world they can actually go on to your site by example.com slash hello world it's easy for them to remember also so just save it over here you do have option to add custom structure but let's stick to the post name so now if you go back and check posts and then if you view it open a new tab you can see that my slug has changed now 
and currently it's actually using your index.php because that's what we have over here right index.php and we've written content blog or content index or whatever you want to call it for that matter so that's not what we want F for a single post page I want to use a different template so let's look at the hierarchy so singular page what type is it is it a post or is it a page so it's a post so if it's a post is it a custom one it's a standard one or blog post so you can see that it's coming over here if selected custom.php if not then single dash post.php or just use single.php so we will go with this option which is single.php okay so I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and create a file called single.php okay and I'm just going to do a copy paste from here and let's just put single post okay uh, if I come over here and now if I refresh you can see that now it's serving the single post right because that's what the hierarchy says that you know, if you find a post page and if it's just a blog post then follow this hierarchy if you find single.php then just use that awesome great if our single post and our page single page are going to be looking exactly the same there will be no layout difference then we will probably use the singular.php okay but if our layout of this post page and single page single page and single post page are going to be the uh, are going to be different then it's better to keep different different templates for them great so brilliant so i think we have all the pages that we require in the next video all we're going to do is start rendering the content because currently they are not showing any content right now because all we are doing is just saying you know say the name statically but we want to be able to display the content for example if you go to our page pages and if you have like about page and if you view it currently it's using the single page but I want to be able to see the content if I go ahead and write something over here inside of the editor I should be able to have this content being displayed if I have any image I want that to be displayed as well so for that we are going to be talking about the famous WordPress the loop in the next video and we're going to render all of the content for the post starting with the blog post so we're going to start with the development of the blog post page and eventually then we'll move on to the other pages as well awesome great so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, do follow me on github my github handle is Imran Sayyad and follow me on Twitter as well my Twitter handle is Cody Tech and I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.